What is up guys? Steve here and welcome to another video. Well in today's adventure once again I am in eastern Washington. I'm out here for a little fishing trip just for one day. As you guys probably noticed they kind of favor these kind of scab looking lands of eastern Washington especially at this time of year. Um, the January, February, March months because this tends to be kind of the best fishing around here especially this time of year in the winter. Um, this is what this is one of the lakes here in eastern Washington. I was doing some research on it. It's actually a newer fishery to me. I actually came and scouted here a couple weeks ago and um, this is kind of my first like real try to try and catch some fish in here. From the research I've done, there's some bass in here and Washington State Department of Fish and Wildlife actually started planting trout here a few years ago to try and diversify the population. So I'm pretty excited. We'll see what happens. I've heard people catching perch out here too. Um, the plan is basically I'm going to rig up my rods right now, pretty basic setup, just a sinker and some power bait. So I'm going to rig up a basic setup, I'll show you guys what it looks like. plan after that is get the rods in the water, I'm going to make a little fire so I stay warm. It is a little chilly and windy out here. And then hopefully we can catch some fish and I can do a cooking catch out here for you guys. If not, I did brought some back up, I brought some top ramen noodles I can boil some water and cook. So hopefully we can eat some fish, if not, top ramen it is. All right, you guys, well, I got the rod rigged up. Like I said, this is gonna be the simplest setup you can do. But you know what, it works. I catch fish with that all the time. Pretty basic, I got a weight here. I got a little swivel. Then I got a little leader. And then right here, I have a little tiny size eight hook. Um, that's what I prefer to use for rainbow trout, as you guys can see. Just a little tiny hook. And I'm gonna use this called power bait. I'm just gonna use a little tiny blub just to cover up the hook, and I'm gonna throw it out there. Now, one of the other reasons I was actually excited to come out and fish today I actually just bought this brand new fishing rod. As you guys can see, one of the reasons I thought it was cool, which you guys might laugh at, but it's actually a camouflage rod, which I thought was pretty neat. It's an ugly stick, it's a pretty basic rod. I believe I paid a total of $60 um, with this reel and this rod. Actually, I had a gift card to Cabela's that I used and basically was able to buy this rod. Um, I haven't obviously tried it yet, so I'll let you guys know what I think about it here at the end of my fishing trip. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the poles are in the water. That's all set. The only thing I have to do now is just wait. Wait for a bite. I actually just got a new axe too, so I'm pretty excited. After a while, if you guys want, I can actually do a review on it. If you guys are interested, let me know down in the comments below. But pretty good axe. I've done my research. I don't need anything super fancy, but it's just the Fiskars. Pretty, no, pretty well-known brand. This is a 28-inch cutting axe, so pretty excited to use it. Gonna chop some wood with it. I chopped some at home already, but it was working pretty flawlessly. If you guys have more questions, let me know down below in the comments.
<laughs> First fish of the day, boys. Nice little rainbow. Well, you guys check it out. I was actually fishing down there, or as you guys saw earlier in the video, away from this little stream right here. And I've been here for about an hour now and I have not had a single bite. I came up to this little stream right here and I threw a piece of power bait in there and I let it kind of, and I was kind of drifting it through that moving water. And sure enough, this little fish just took so. I'm excited. Woo! Can't let this little guy get away just yet. So I'm excited, you guys. I'm gonna bunk this fish, put it out of its misery. I'm gonna clean him up and we got ourselves lunch for today. If you guys look over there, right where this little stream comes in, I was just drifting my power bait right through here and boom, right there. I got a bite. So basically my plan now is to try this again and see if this was just a fluke or if I'm onto something here. I just tried doing that again a few times and I'm not seeing we having any luck. A couple things could have happened. One, I could have just got lucky and put a piece of power bait in front of a trout's mouth. Happens. Or I could have, it's, it's actually a really small, really shallow area and sometimes when you catch a fish it'll kind of scare the rest of them. And they'll scatter. So right now I just got the pole down. Just kind of watching it for a minute see what happens maybe i'll hook another one nevertheless days already made i think i just got another bite hook caught nice fish on another fish on guys got ourselves a couple of trout now check it out Weird how it works, you guys. I don't know. I was literally, I, I spent over an hour fishing just literally 30 yards from here. Didn't get a single bite. I come down here just a little bit, fishing really close to shore. We're talking 15 yards offshore. Boom, I get two fish back to back. So, kind of neat how it happens someday. So, moral of the story if you guys come out here, don't be afraid to try things out. Try something different. If you're not catching fish, play around with it. Just Try a different location, move around a little bit, try, play with your distance, your litter length, um, the bait you're using. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. It's the way fishing goes. We're gonna give this another good old 20 minutes and then I'm probably gonna start cooking my lunch because I'm starving to be honest you guys. I didn't really eat breakfast. I had a little bit of oatmeal, it really didn't hit the spot. So I'm excited to cook these trout over the fire and I might still cook the noodles too because I'm pretty hungry. We'll see. Shown. Let's go, baby. Fish number three, guys. Well, that's fish three. My daily limit out here is actually five fish per day. That being said, if I catch two more fish, I'm done fishing for the day. Right on. Let me show them to you guys. As you guys can see, just a beautiful rainbow trout. Perfect for the frying pan.
the shown. You guys, check this thing out. This thing is an absolute torpedo of a fish that I just hooked. It's absolutely amazing. As you guys saw, I kept catching all those little, little guys. And I was actually just finished up my lunch. I was taking one of my last bites and I noticed my fishing pole was starting to bite. So I ran over there, it actually stopped biting for a minute. As you guys saw, I just grabbed my big camera. I didn't even have time to set it up. I just kind of threw it on the ground. I'm, I'm hoping I got the hook set for you guys of this fish. Um, that thing bit one more time, just set the hook and look at this beauty, that's awesome. That being said, as you guys noticed, I was using two poles so far. I'm gonna take one pole out because I don't wanna by chance get a double and then one of the fish gets hooked too much. I just don't wanna deal with going over the legal limit. So I'm gonna take one pole out. If I get lucky, I might catch one more fish and then we'll have to call it a day. Well, you guys, this is actually future Steve. Um, this is the fish you guys just saw me catch. Um, this is actually this that evening. I actually made it home, and as you guys can tell, I'm now cleaning the fish in my sink, the ones I'm going to smoke. Um, as you guys can see, the fat fish you just saw me catch, I thought his belly was really fat. I thought he was really big. I couldn't figure out why. And you guys can see, here he is now, and I just cut his head off. Sorry, it might be a little graphic. You guys can see that's the fish. And then I noticed something. As I started squeezing him out, I put a little pressure on him, a little fish came out. Now, I don't know if this is some kind of minnow or what it is, but it's not the end of it. Here's his stomach. He was huge. I ended up cutting it open. If you guys look over here, I pulled a total of eight minnows out of him, or whatever these little fish are. If you guys know, please let me know down in the comments below. Check these little bad boys out. You guys can see my yellow power bait on there still. It's incredible. This guy had all of these fish inside him. So for the future, I'm going to try and use sparkling or something to resemble these fish. I'd probably do pretty well fishing out there. Now I know this is a huge part of their diet. So no wonder he's so fat. He's been eating very, very well. Kind of cool. Fish on. There we go. Well, you guys, that being said, this is fish five, and that's my day to limit. At this point, I cannot legally fish here anymore, so I guess this pretty much wraps up our fishing day. Woohoo, look at this little guy. I know you guys, I just set him on, I was actually just putting my other pole away. It hasn't been even five minutes since I caught that big guy, and then this little guy just took. I was actually gonna originally think about putting him back, but he did swallow the hook a little too far. He was bleeding pretty bad, so. I'm gonna take him home. I usually like to let these little guys grow, but not this time. So I don't think he's gonna make it, so maybe I can pan fry him for my wife for dinner tonight. All right, you guys, what an awesome day. Well, you guys, what can I say? What an amazing fishing trip this was. First of all, this is probably one of the nicest days we've had yet here in January. Surprisingly, it's been very warm for January here, and today was just a beautiful sunny day. Um, it honestly felt like spring, so I really enjoyed that. Not always the best for fishing. I actually prefer to fish where it's a little overcast, but and nevertheless, as you guys saw, I did catch my limit, so I really can't complain. I really did enjoy using my new rod as well. It's a pretty nice little rod. It's nothing special, but I didn't really do much with it. I just casted it and just kind of sat there. You guys saw the yellow power bait I was using today. They seem to be the ticket as well as my setup. I've mentioned that in multiple videos already. If you guys get a chance, I highly encourage you guys to come out to one of these lakes out here in eastern Washington. Just give it a try. You'll probably catch a fish. If not, I guarantee you'll have a great time doing it. That being said, you guys, this pretty much wraps this trip up. As I like to say, all good things do have to come to an end. Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Like this video. And by the way, 
I did just hit a thousand subscribers, which I'm very excited about. And I would like to thank all of you guys for subscribing to this channel, watching this videos, engaging with the channel and helping me grow it. I'm very thankful for that. So thank you all of you that are um, joining Northwest Adore Adventures. Follow us on Instagram as always. I'll link it down below as usual. Um, feel free to ask me any questions about gear I'm using, whether wherever you guys want to fish, some of the places we're fishing. I usually like to help people out on there. That being said, I would also like to wish all of you a happy 2021. Let's all hope it's going to be a little better than 2020. And I hope all of you guys get to spend a lot of time outdoors this year. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys next time.